What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. Me and the little Marsh man are uh, gonna be installing some new headlights on mama's truck today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah new, new headlights. So we're gonna be putting some new headlights on the truck. Um, we're gonna go over the setup that we went with and kind of, you know, why we went with that setup, of course, because of the theme of the truck and the style she's wanting to go for here. And then also we have some super freaking bright LED headlights for this thing. For all the people that hate sync trucks with super bright headlights on the road because you think they have the brights on all the time, but they don't, uh, you're welcome. We're gonna continue to do that with this one here. You ready? Ready. Ready. Let's do it. So we got the wife's Cummins here pulled into the garage. I'm gonna restart my intro because the dog was irritating me so bad with his whining and fussing. Every time he hears me talk, he like, pats on his cage and squeals because he wants out so driver's side no headlight bulb working and then on this side only the high beam works so no low beam only high beam and the headlights we don't even really love them the grill the grill we don't really love love either it'll be fine as long as we have a really nice set of headlights and lights that work it'll look better but right now there's just a lot going on up front that just does not fit the truck. First thing we're going to be doing on this thing today is swapping out these headlights and we're going to be changing them out and also putting new super bright LEDs. And I'll try to drop the links to these headlights and LEDs that we go with for the setup. So that way, if you guys want to buy them, we will have a link in the description below that you can just tap on them and go pick up the same ones if you want. Um, just of course, verify that they fit your truck. Cool. 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 Let's get these turned off and get to swapping these out. And I did actually just put this light bar up here so that hopefully it'll help with the lighting here just a little bit because we're still in the process we still got to get lighting and electric wired in through the shop i don't know what you're saying cool i don't i don't know what that means but we're going to be getting the headlights swapped out and hopefully this will help with the lighting and make it a little bit better so here's actually the headlight setup we're going with for her truck it's just a clear and chrome look and there's a lot of aftermarket stuff out there now, but there's just certain aftermarket lights like with projectors and stuff. Big truck. Yeah, it is a big truck. Big truck. Yeah, big truck. So we're gonna be putting these in here. We got LED corner lights, LED main headlights for the high and low beams. And uh, <laughs> he wants to show me his truck buck. And I think, I think this is going to be perfect. He's passionate about it. Let's just say that. Anything with trucks, he, he's he's all about it. He has a little truck game he plays every once in a while. Whenever he watches TV, he only wants to watch like Monster Jam or freaking mud bogging stuff. Or like he doesn't want to watch anything else. Yeah, that is a, it's a greeter. Yeah. So we're going to be swapping these out. And I think it's going to look perfect to go with the wheels on this and the mirrors on this that you have not yet seen. But it's it's just going to tie together so well. Cab lights are not getting swapped right now, but they are going to be swapped eventually. And it's all going to tie together beautifully. Two 10 millimeter bolts here, one 10 millimeter nut on the back of the headlight. And honestly, what you could do too is take either a thin rag or something if you're using a flathead like me and just kind of stick it in the crack there. And that way you can... And keep it from chewing on your fender. Yay! 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 Actually, come out pretty easy. You can see since I use this rag in my hand to kind of keep that thing from getting touching that fender, it didn't leave any scratches or anything on there. That's all there is to it. Now, what I'm gonna do because mine the the corner light worked totally fine. It's got like an amber color LED in there, kind of weird looking, but that's what it is. I'm actually gonna put my new headlights, plug them in, and then at least just test the high and the lows before putting them in the headlights and then putting them together just to make sure I don't get everything put together. And for some reason, there's a totally different wiring issue. Now, in terms of the brand of these lights, these are the LED headlights I went with. Seal Light, Xenower, <laughs> Xenower, I don't even know what they're called. I, I don't fully understand the pronunciation there, but these are 6,000, uh, 6,000 something. H13 9008 models. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do these. Amazon, there's all kinds of foreign brands on Amazon. And then there's these. I don't know if they're called Oxido or Oxido. 
but these are gonna be the LEDs that I'm gonna use for the corner lights. And these things are probably gonna be super bright. They all might actually end up uh, being multi-purpose as a, almost an additional low beam headlight because uh, they're, they're supposed to be super bright. According to, according to the reviews, it was pretty, pretty ridiculous. Of course, all the writing's in Chinese, so you can't actually read any of it. Those are just gonna be the corner light and turn signal is what they're supposed to be. So we'll see how that works. So here are the headlights right here. These are the low beams. These things are freaking bright. And what I ended up having to do was there's this weird wiring thing, like a, some kind of a adapter, which he was using for his other set of LEDs with a bunch of weird connections and stuff. So I actually just ditched all the adapters and weird stuff and just plug these into the factory harness and uh, the way it's supposed to be. And the highs and lows work just fine. So the other ones might have actually ended up working just fine had they just been not tampered with. We're gonna finalize this side, get the headlight mounted up and then work on the other side. And hopefully it's as simple as doing the exact same thing, which is undoing the makeshift wiring harness thing and just unplugging all the adapters and just plugging it right into the factory harness. And then it's all good. Honestly, that is so sick. So it's got a feature where the bright LED surround always stays on, but then when you do the blinker, certain bulbs on that LED will do the blink for you. And so that's the turning signal on the passenger side. And this is the current on the driver's side. Way different. This headlight to that headlight. assembly and the new LED bulbs installed. However, I do have a question for you guys in just a moment. This truck, for whatever reason, when we bought it, the low beams did not work for either side and only one high beam worked and that was on the driver side. At first I thought the bulbs must be bad. That must be the problem. Which could have been part of the issue. However, we've been getting like wind storms every time we film a video. It's like nice outside, you start filming, and the Lord is like, send them 30 mile an hour gusts immediately. <laughs> and we're just like, gotcha. Every time. Every time. Yeah, dude, like, we can't so escape bad. it. Anyways, at least it's not snowing and it's 55 in March. So that's true. Yes, there is there is still things plenty to be, to be grateful for. Low beams, for whatever reason, will only work when the truck is turned off. Does that make sense? Of course not, because that's not supposed to happen. Uh, for whatever reason, when the truck's turned on and running, the low beams don't come on. You can run high beams, but not low beams. Since you turn the truck off, low beams work. Totally fine. Of course, low and high and everything works. Everything works when the truck's turned off. When it's turned on, you can only run the corner lights, which are basically as bright as headlights. And then you can only run high beams. No low beams on either side work when it's running. I don't know why that is. That's where I have a question for you guys. In the comment section below, if you have a third gen, or maybe just any Dodge or any pickup in general, but it's more helpful if you've got a third gen, what might be causing that? I looked up on YouTube, did a quick search, and for some reason, it's apparently a really common thing that I've never heard about. And there was a lot of videos like, how to fix your high beam and low beam issue, how to fix your low beams for not working, how to fix your driver side headlight on third gen Dodge. And like half of them were just splicing wires and connecting a bunch of weird things. And I would say that's what he did, and that's how he resolved the issue that I was just fixing on all the wiring mess in there. But then again, his low beams and one of his high beams still didn't work. So I just undid it. At least most of it works now, but still not all of it. Any helpful tips on why the low beams would not be working while the truck's running? They work fine when it's off? Comment away. So these are a six, I think they're a 6,000 lumen white LED. 
and they actually dual purpose as a 6,000 lumen just corner almost like a corner LED headlight and they just stay on all the time whenever you run your daylights or your uh, running lights or your headlights these are always going to be on but then also they have a dual function where they also double as a turning signal as well but they're just a super bright white LED turning signal which I think is pretty looks pretty good and I think it's going to tie in with the truck really well because we do have some cool modifications coming to the we are set up on this on the cab lights and it's all going to pull together we're live anyways we are live and uh Rosie is of course up for grabs and you might notice on social media randomly some some new influencers that are popping up that have partnered up with us to help run the brand in the right direction which is what we're going for i'm just going to leave it at that uh, but it's pretty cool and we appreciate all you guys who have partnered up with us uh, but rosine is up for grabs right now and the giveaway is ending in less than three weeks okay less than three weeks and it's gone it ends on april 16th and right now every one dollar is 15 entries to win plus if you want to place an order on our app we're going to give you guys a bonus code to use in the description down below or check the emails that we send out uh, or our stories on social media stuff like that we will be sending you a promo code to use on the app for an additional huge huge bonus you definitely want to check it out don't don't sit out on this one download the app download links are going to be in the description below like always but they are also going to be available on the website like they always are download the app for apple or android place an order on the app using the promo code and you get a wicked freaking bonus towards winning this truck plus five grand right now and it's uh yeah it's 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 pretty sick so definitely use it anyways guys thanks so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace